Well, let's get right into it. So it's super easy to have both your, your dishwasher and your garbage disposal on the same circuit. Um, and basically what that means is only one of these wires is hot and it's gonna be feeding this bottom plug and then the top wire is gonna be feeding this plug. So for starters, take your wall plug and before you start wiring up or anything like that, there's two tabs here. There's one here and there's one here. On this one, I already pulled it off. So you can see it's literally just blue here. It's blue and white. And these metal little jackets here aren't actually connected. But on this side, on the, the silver side, that tab still exists and these two screws are connected by that tab. So we just wanna take the hot side, which is like, uh, I don't know, the, the bronze side. So this is silver neutral side. The hot side is that brass side or the darker. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that on camera. Silver, darker, color bronze, whatever the heck that is. Okay, so I got all of uh, this outer sheathing ripped off. Uh, this black wire is our hot coming in. And uh, this is down further in the circuit. This is gonna be powering our switch. So uh, what we're gonna do is these grounds kinda need to be tied together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I only have with me right now these uh, push connects, which are really, really cool. And I'm gonna chop these suckers off right there and right there. And I'm gonna use this really easy push connect like that. And you can see when you have a good connection and when you don't have a good connection. So right like that, I don't know, the camera's probably not gonna show that, but I can see that I have a really good connection so now my grounds are tied together, but I still need to feed a ground to this green uh, ground on the wall plug. So I'm just gonna take a, my little spare copper ground wire. I'm gonna stick that sucker in here as well. Right like that. And that's just kind of called a pigtail. And now I can take this and wrap it around this green wire nut and that serves as my ground. Now I have my wall plug grounded. Let me go ahead and get rid of some of this length here. Now I have some stuff to work with. So I got my grounds all the way pushed back in there. It helps to do this kind of layer by layer. So now I'm gonna take uh, my neutral wire and this, this is the, the neutral that's feeding, that's also with the hot. And I'm gonna put that on this uh, silver side, the silver screw side right here. Now. Because we didn't strip the little, uh, we didn't break off the little metal tab on the silver screw side, this one little neutral right here is gonna be serving power, return power, for both of the, the top and the bottom. So now just let me make a little loop here. Now I'm gonna tighten this screw. Okay, so power, power. Now, this neutral, this is actually gonna be serving as a hot. So this neutral is gonna be attached to this top plug right here. And I'm gonna tie these two black wires together. That's fine. So I'm making a pigtail with these blacks. Just using my easy push connects. You really love them because you just push them right on and they, they're really snug on there and you can see if you have a good connection or not. With those twisting things, the, the wire twist, whatever they're called, you can't really see if, they're, if it's good or not. Uh, connection anyway. So now this one is gonna go on this top brass, the darker colored screw, and it's gonna serve power to this, or I should say switched power, to this top outlet here. So now I'm just gonna loop this sucker around as well. There we go. Make sure that connection is good. It is good. So now uh, we're pretty much done. I'm gonna take a little jumper cable here, just a little pigtail, whatever. So this black wire, this is gonna go 
in our little <laughs> uh, connection that we made right here. And this is gonna feed this bottom brass screw. And that way, this bottom plug has constant power. And it also has neutral power. See that? This is our neutral from our hot supply side, or line side, or main side, whatever it's called. And then it's gonna have the power side because it's connected to that. So now let me just strip this, put it in my little push connect thing, done. It's so easy. <laughs> Make your loop like so. Done. So this is kind of what that looks like. So basically what we have here, we have pigtail all of our blacks together. And you see how clear on these push connects, you can actually see if it's making a good connection or not. Uh, there's a metal jacket back here and you can see uh, if there's a good connection. So that's what I really like that. And so right here we have broken our metal tie piece that connects this copper with that copper. It's off, so now these two are separated. We only have one neutral going on the neutral side, and that's okay because it, these two nuts, or these two screws, are still connected by this little silver uh, tab right there. So they both have a neutral supply. And we have our ground, of course, and our grounds have been all pigtailed together, just like our blacks have. So. We have, if you notice, one white up here, and this is serving as our hot to supply this. So the black side of this, which is right here, this black and this white wire are with the same cord, uh, the same circuit. The power from this is gonna travel back down through the wall and power this through this white wire. So this is basically the setup. We have this wall plug. When it is switched on, it's gonna be powering the top side of this receptacle. So basically, if it's wired up correctly, these two lights should come on when I flick that switch. So let's see here. So basically, we're gonna flick the switch. The power is on, so that's live. So we're gonna flick this switch, and there we go. It has power. The two lights are on, this is off. It's not just one light on either side or whatever, they're both on. So that lets us know that it is wired up correctly. And it, it comes on and off with the switch. And the bottom is just constantly on. Doesn't matter if I move the switch on or off, this is gonna have constant supply of energy. Um, uh, one thing I think I should show you, Right here, this is how the switch is wired up. Normally, light switches don't use neutrals, but in this particular case, our neutral is serving as a hot. So you can put it on the top or bottom, it doesn't really matter. Um, so, like, there's no, uh, nothing to connect to on this side. Light switches typically just have a ground and two hots, <laughs> two blacks. So if this was continuing down the circuit or whatever, you would have another black there. But in our particular case, it's white. So that's how that works. No pigtails here, just really simple on and off switch. Yeah, hi there, uh, Danny Duncan, report in for duty. Uh, I got another hyper tough tip for you. Now, on your job site, you're gonna have a lot of waste, a lot of scrap, a lot of trash you just ain't gonna wanna need, and you're gonna have to take the lamp real, okay? Don't even try and go to that dump, because that, that, that redneck woman over there, she's going to say, oh, no, go to the landfill, go to the landfill. And I say, okay, 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 you have a great day too, man. All right, you know, that's that's, that's, that's going to happen. We don't like that, you're just going to have to deal with it. You feel me on that one? Okay, back back to the hyper tough lesson, okay? Basically, if you forget your tarp, or rather your crackhead partner back there, he forgot his tarp, and you need to strap down your trash, okay? On your way to your drive site, just stop by any random patch of woods, and you're gonna find some hobo camping there. And when he's sleeping, go ahead and yank that blanket right off of him and run, tuck, tail, and run, because he hey, will man. chase that, hey, man. Man. that took sucker. My buddy Dwight's sleeping gear, man. Hey, man. Dude, we don't know them people. It's, it's they, cold they, get, tonight. they go to helping hands. They get them 